Hey everybody, today I'm showing the Chestnut Air Plus, which is the uh, smart chess board that works with Lee Chess and Chess.com. It has a similar interface to the Chestnut Air. The Chestnut Pro has the slide. When you press this button here, you can connect it to your smartphone or tablet. What I like about this is that it works with the DigiT Pi. It works with your iOS and Android devices. It works with the third party applications such as Whitepond. You just have to go and in this case, let's say, I want to connect the chess board and now I can actually play on this board and it shows up. White one has a very strong chess engine, a stockfish level 20 here is as hard as it gets. In this video, I'm going to actually use this against this version of Gemini 2.0 flash taking experimental. It's supposed to be one of the more powerful models and there are models that you can use to interact with YouTube that just came out and usually most people test these with O3 Mini or DeepSeek R1 and I've done that in the past. Just want to see how well this can play. It says it can actually remember the moves. In this case, I'm going to play black. Let's see how it actually works now. See the LEDs are hidden under the board. So when actually it suggests a move, then you will be able to see it. Otherwise, nothing is visible so it's a nice touch it does give you feedback and the pieces are not lined up just gonna say e4 wants to play e5 okay we play e5 not the most convenient way to do it but let's see what the response is here so it wants to play the Petrov so it goes with move d6 so far so good It is going through the moves to see if it's valid. It's not an unusual move. Just don't understand the move. N C six. Okay. It does explain the basics well. But I'm not sure it actually understands the position. BE7. Okay, so now this is the first bad move. E times D4 is not valid. Try to take D4, but with the pawn, but it doesn't have it. Now it says that it wants to actually take it with the knight. This is a bad move, but okay. This is already over anyway, but. Let's go BG4. Going to castles. It's 
So it's just not understanding the position. Now it says that my castling is not right because the bishop on g4 is stopping it, but that's just not true. So it goes here. It is kind of annoying because you have to now explain every move because it keeps trying to actually break the rules. But then again, this is normal with all these models. Okay, so it wants to go C6. Again. Another piece dropped. Now it accuses me of not understanding how it works. So. So I'm kind of stuck here. It's just pointless. You can't, again, when you hit 13, 14 moves, it usually starts. This is actually a little bit more than that, but it says white can't capture on g4 as there's a black bishop on g4 you can't capture your own piece that makes zero sense so i'm white i try to capture a black piece and it says i can't capture my own piece and usually after 13 to 14 moves they just lose track of the position even when they're verifying it and i've seen that in their notation as well so it just seems that it doesn't really understand the position no matter how advanced it is right now. O3 Mini was the only one that actually let me checkmate it. The other models all kept me from going forward because they wanted to either capture their own pieces, move the wrong piece, or capture my pieces with bishops or knights that they didn't have, and that was problematic. For more information, please go to gadgetify.com or youtube.com at gadgetify. Don't forget to check the description for more information and where you can get this cool board. Thanks for watching.